guys, welcome back. This is Chesh here, and today we're gonna go and play ourselves some Transam. Again, I'm loving this deck so much. Uh, maybe not loving it as much as Straight Alakazam. I really, really dig on that Straight Alakazam because it's a faster deck. Uh, but this this can have some favorable stuff. So we're going up against what looks like a fire deck. We're fine with that. Let's see what our opponent's win can do. Flipping the coin, flipping the coin. We want to go first, absolutely. Alright, come on, good hand, good hand. Not a great hand. Bye bye. Ah, uh, what is it with me and bad hands with decks at the moment? It has been frustrating. I tried to play the Lucario Fights Alone deck and it was. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, guys, it was pretty terrible. I won't be playing that one again, that's for sure. Okay, what are we playing up against? Ah! Yeah, that that could be um that could be rough. That's fine though, we got this. Uh what are we gonna do here? I feel like battle compressor and we will go and grab let's see. Probably a Wally, an AZ and a Lysander. Yep, that looks good. That gives us some options. Uh rocket our hand away with Professor Sycamore. Oh baby. Look at that. Okay, uh, I feel like I sort of want to put a Wobbuffet out. Will it do anything? This is Pokemon Power. Does he even have one? Don't think that technically counts. No, I think we'll just we'll leave him for a second. Um, what do we want from this? Oh, look at that. We can go and get a Wally straight up. Yeah, we will actually. That's fine. Because we're going to be able to start pumping stuff out of our head. Look, we'll do it just in case. Could get a Mega Nuts first turn and actually kill my Phantom. Just thinking about it. Because that's what uh, Entire decks do. They power up real quick and then they smash you in the face. Okay. Wow. Ultra Ball. Yep. Of course, uh, it's probably got the Versus Seeker for the Blacksmith, I'd be guessing. Yeah, yeah, we're done. Stop looking. Blacksmith. Oh, you had one in hand. You're gonna be doing a yeah, decent amount of damage. Does he get to attack twice like the other one? I think so. Or is it just two muscle bands? I think you can have two muscle bands. But, either way, 50 damage. Off he goes. He's dead. That's not good. I mean, it doesn't really matter that much, to be honest. Um, Alright, so what do we want to do here? Because we can't Wally, which is real frustrating. Like, um, I feel we don't want to waste energy on a Wobbuffet right now. What do we got? What do we got? Alakazam? Yeah, I guess an Alakazam will do. Uh, what does your actual attack do? 130, so it'll be doing 150. Alright, let's chuck the mystery energy on the Alakazam. I think we'll keep the Spirit Link in our hand for now. Uh, we will grab a Versus Seeker though. Um, and I'm real tempted to waste it just to get back some energy. And the Phantom? Yeah, let's do that. Because again, this deck dies out real bad if it doesn't have the energy in the late game. Um, that's why we probably need more than uh, one Super Rod in here, to be honest. Random receiver? Sure. Uh-huh, double colorless. Fester's letter. There's a blacksmith. Yeah, I wonder which one you took. The oh, blacksmith, because you have to. Is there no... No energy. Okay, that's fine. Right, so here I think we're going to Spirit Link. Uh, Probably just going to end, to be honest. Um, 4, 5, 6. So it'll reduce our opponent's hand by one. Um, and give us a full hand. Ugh. Perfect. Alright. Well, I mean, not perfect, but perfect enough. Especially with what we're about to do. Pair up. Retreat. 
<laughs> you bet you we are. Uh, and then I think, oh, look at that, Will Shaman. Shaman makes a real hard target here, and um, I'm sure our opponent's probably just going to lay in energy and then smack out the Shaman, but we will see. Uh, all we've got is a Wally. We don't have anything for the Wally. I think we're going to leave it. That's that's not so great, having two Trevenants in hand. Uh, Zen Force. So I think we're probably going to Versus Seeker for an N. Alright, so he turns into little, little O, little, little light. Ah, I can never remember. So, Acrobike, yep, sure. Mm-hmm. That's that extra energy. Now, ah, it's going to be too easy to kill him off, that's all. Alright, so we can kill you and that's fine, but we still need some Phantoms. Which we're not going to be able to wally this turn because we're going to need to end unless we get a phantom. <laughs> then we, then we can. Um, all right, so we've taken some heavy damage on that Alakazam too. Uh, no, all right, cool. Let's go search for the end. Play the pickup game. Get rid of our hand. Worst hands in history! Now, I know that I would love to just go and evolve Phantom straight up, but instead we actually need to get rid of this guy, because otherwise he's just going to be wrecking house at 150 damage. Now we know, we know that our opponent's probably got another blacksmith, which means the other one is going, the other entire is going to get powered up pretty quickly, and we're probably going to lose Megalakazam. But you know what? That's cool. Requires four energy, so unless you've got a double colour, so I can't imagine that he's going to be able to stick four energy on there somehow. Unless I'm missing something, which is also kind of probably likely. Yep, versus Seeker, sure. Blacksmith, didn't see that coming. Cough! I think the other thing here as well is that I can't just take this guy straight out. Because um, we need to be able to do masso damage with... Uh, with, 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 with Phantom's evolution. Gee, what is up with me today? Trevenant. Trevenant. You super Trevenant, yeah. So it looks like our opponent might have maybe another blacksmith in their hand. That could be what our opponent's doing is, um, no, got something else. Okay, that's interesting. All right, so I think here, we retreat for a phantom, play a phantom, play a spike balloon. It's a hella balloon. Uh, hmm. Mm. Yeah, we'll need that one. Uh, and here, this is going to look crazy, but I have to do it. Mm hmm. Shame into power our hand back up. And if we're lucky, if we're lucky. Ooh. Yes, we were. Um, okay, so Trevenant. And then we'll Versus Seeker. And we'll grab the Wally. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. Yeah, you won't be able to one shot this boy. Snapsaws. Okay, so. Here, I think now we just start plugging damage. Now, do we Silent Fear or do we Tree Slam? Silent Fear won't. Now, I think we'll Tree Slam. Because as much as I want to put 30 damage on everything, I definitely want to get rid of this Entai. Um, and that is going to be. Oh, look at that. Same amount of damage. I probably should have done it. I didn't realize it has. No? Huh? How did you take less damage? What did you take less damage from? Mm-hmm. Ah! Flame screen, I did not see that. Okay. So we should have just dealt 30 damage to everything. Alright, what do you do? 
Yeah, we prevent all damage done to Pokemon with attacks for your opponent's basic Pokemon. Well, lucky none of my basic Pokemon are gonna bother trying to attack you, buddy, so there's that. Gonna flame screen me again. It's fine. Now I need to do you more damage than I can do with this guy. And I don't wanna knock out Alakazam. So I think at this point we could <sighs> I should have used the other energy and discarded the uh the basic energy. Alright, that's fine. Mistakes happen. Alright, so we're gonna use this guy here, and I think we're probably gonna get rid of Spirit Link and a Phantom. Can anyone get ourselves another Trevenant? So we've locked our opponent out of items pretty well, which is great. Um, it's a shame that we can't actually retreat. So we are going to Silent Fear. Yeah, yeah, see? They're making that same stupid mistake twice. I would have killed that guy. No, you put that down. It would have been extra 10 damage on him and 10 damage. Doesn't matter. Ooh. That um that looks like it's gonna be fun. Oh, there's that double colorless. You you killed my trip. Oh. <laughs> Alright. That makes me happy. Cool. That's fine. So now I need to figure out what I'm gonna do here because uh Yeah, you know what? Let's let's just go with him. So we're both on equal footing on prizes. I'm pretty sure I can win this. <laughs> I discarded that damn spirit link. Uh, that's fine. So we'll discard these two. And we don't have any more Pokemon that we really want to snatch, do we? Uh, so we'll get a Phantom. We've run out of uh, trainers, guys. This is um, this is interesting. All right. So how big are you? Big enough for me to kill? But then you come in and take two prizes. Um. Which we don't want to have happen, but we're going to remove from your opponent's basic Pokemon. So I think here we do want to retreat into Trevenant just to keep you locked out of items for now. Keep our opponent uh, locked out of playing critical items to get things back. 21 cards versus 13. Ah, so as we just saw there, uh, we just saw exactly how that works. Yep, spiky ball! Put out a balloon! Come on and hit me! Hey, stop trying and hit me! Damn you, Joker. Um, our opponent's in a precarious position, as you see there. Energy on the back, because you don't want to put it on a... On a Trev... Trev hate... Trev... I don't even know what to call him. Um, Alright, what are we going to do here, because... We are not getting the energy we need. Our web effect can't do any damage. We don't want to open him up to being able to do items, but to be honest, I kind of want to get a prize and see. I mean, this could lose us the game. How much damage do you do? 60 plus. No, 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 I'm gonna risk it. You gotta risk it for the biscuit. That's what they say. I don't know who they are, but um, sounds pretty stupid. Oh, that's not what we wanted to see. We wanted to see a trainer. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. How much energy do we even have left? Uh, let's see. We've got. Oh, what another two normal psychic energy and another one mystery energy with three energy left somewhere in here or potentially all of our prizes are going to be energy which is be really bad oh guess we should have kept one of those around um the things just got real bad <laughs> mm-hmm yeah you stuck it like a boss is that anyway? Camera up. Tumbling attack. 
Ah, uh, blah, blah, 30 plus. Flip a coin. If heads, yeah. It's got fire, does extra 50. Yeah, alright. Um, what are we gonna do here? I think we're going to warp off it! Come on, give me something good. Um, good enough, I guess. Really? Not really, no. Uh, what are we gonna do here? Our attacks don't work on you, right? Basic Pokemon, yep. Yeah. Alright. Oh! What? Oh, I forgot! Your ability can't be used! What am I even doing? I mean, I can't kill you, but... Oh, man, I am so stupid today! Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Alright, so what you gonna do? You gonna knock out my Wobbuffet? You gonna retreat and knock out my Wobbuffet or something? Is that what's gonna happen? First, the could probably get Blacksmith. Yep. Retreat, discarding energy, bring up Camerupt. Blacksmith to Camerupt. Start wrecking face. Is that what I'm seeing here? I'm not gonna retreat. Hmm. Alright, what do we do here? Uh, I guess we just put out our Trevenant. Come on. Yes! Finally! Ah. Ah. Well, that was sort of useless, wasn't it? Uh, we'll just have to end our turn. We don't have a choice. I can't believe I'm losing. <laughs> Maybe next time I'll remember that Wobbuffet's ability actually does stuff. Explosive jet. Here we go. Has a boom! And that is oh she brought all of it. Alright, so based Pauladine? Based base D Pauladine? Based Pauladine? I can't pronounce your name, sorry, madam. Alright, so I won the, fa the the coin flip against Paula. I'm just gonna call you Paula. Hope she doesn't mind. What do we got here? Nothing! What is it with me and hands? I draw hands like I actually physically draw hands, because I can't draw hands. I've tried. Yeah. Alright, so we've got a Phantom at least. We do have a, a Wale. So this could get very exciting very quickly. Look at that. Look at that. Psychic energy, huh? Oh, oh, sticky bowl. Put the sticky bowl on there. And then the Wally. Well, he's gonna say, Oh, yeah, you can evolve straight away. Look at that. Look, your opponent. Oh! Damn, I was having fun with that too. Yep, okay, cool. There we go. Whoa, uh, I didn't even see what Guardian Rain was, was playing, uh, so let's have a look here. It is straight up Alakazam and actually looks very similar. So, I, well, I don't know if it's straight up Alakazam, but it's certainly looking that way. Oh, Octillaries? Uh, budget Alakazam, maybe? But, I mean, you, you're playing F.A. Alakazam, why would you be playing Artilleries? Maybe to lessen EXs, so that your opponent's not taking two prizes off Shamans? Could be, I guess. Um, so... Ooh, ooh, dude. You're also playing Shamans. That is not a good start for you. Uh, okay, what do we want to do here? Focus, Al, focus. Mm. Alright, so we're gonna have to find a way to retreat Wobbuffet and get a Trevenant into play ASAP against this deck. Oh, that, that might help us. Great thing playing against a deck that you know inside and out, but I mean, obviously, this. Guardian's deck is a little bit different to mine, but I mean, generally speaking, ooh, oh, that could be horrible. Scoop up, oh, hits us, what? Did they? Why did you just scoop up an Alakazam? 
Why wouldn't you? Alright guys, I don't know what's going on here. Um, our opponent just scooped up an Alakazam. Why wouldn't you scoop up the Shaman to keep your chain running? Alright, you know what? <sighs> here we go. Uh, I don't want to get rid of a psychic energy. Time to hesitate us through. Alright, so we've got Wobbuffet now has... Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Alright. <clears throat> anyway, Blaz Raiden is calling the coin flip. Blaz Raiden. And I won, so I'm going to be going first, absolutely. And hopefully we can get a full game out and our opponent won't just straight up concede, because that'd be lovely. Oh, that's a great hand. That is not too shabby at all. Uh, yep, done. Great. The only thing we're missing is a Wally, to be honest. It almost makes me want to just play straight Trevenant. Um, but uh, I think it does need the Alakazam. I think it is uh, a healthy point to the deck to get extra damage on the board and to provide you with a really decent sweeper as well. Um, Alright, so... I'm just going to throw out one because we don't need it. Uh, yep, and then we can't attack first turn, we don't need to, so we're just going to let it go. This is great. So Trevenant's going to be tree slamming all over the place, like, straight up. Hopefully. Depending on what our opponent's even playing, which I didn't pay any attention. It's Fossil Deck, is it? Oh, no, weakness policy. Haven't seen one of those in a long time. Uh, it has no weakness. Why would you be playing a weakness policy? What was the deck that used to need to play weakness policy? No? Okay. Sure. Spiky ball away, buddy. That's fine by me. Oh, that's going to ruin my fun. I was thinking I'd be able to just tree slam this guy here out of existence um, and really shut down our opponent, but um, yeah, we'll see where we can go with this. Okay, so we just have to make sure, because, all right, our opponent is obviously playing some sort of deck very similar to this. Yep, absolutely we want Trevenant down. All right, we're going to shame and draw ourselves some cards, yep. This weakness policy though, I haven't... I've seen a deck run weakness policy before. Not one of these decks, anyway. Uh, we're gonna go here and we're gonna grab Alakazam. If we've got one. If we've got one. Yes, we do. Alright. So we grab Alakazam. We are gonna pop down an Alakazam, and just in case, we are gonna spare a link now. Um, and then we're just gonna end our turn. Our opponent can't play items anymore, so, you know. That's fine. Um, our opponent's also locked us out of prizes, so I probably actually should have played the Versus Seeker because they're about to lock me out. Oh. Maybe, actually. Uh, no. Spending time bearing Trevenant. Ooh. Okay. Sure, let's break. Do we have anything in here we really want? Other than Lysander. Lysander would be great, but I can't kill you in one shot. Uh, so I think we will end. Sure, it helps our opponent, but right now we've got the advantage. Oh yeah, we do. Look at that. We definitely have the advantage here. Um, okay. Yes, we do. Absolutely. Where's that extra damage going to go? On the Phantom, I think. Because we want to kill off this Phantom so that he's only got a trap and that's it. Uh... Yeah, we'll put another Rescue Energy, of Miracle Energy on there. Not that we really wanted to, but um, I feel like that's our best option. I do, however, go with maybe getting another N? Should I? No, I guess not. Get the Lysander, maybe? Just in case, we'll see what he drops. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and now we've got a... So we got a choice of doing mass damage to this guy and only 20 damage to the bench. We're putting three damage counters on everything. Um, the 20 will knock out the Phantom but anyway. Doing only 20 damage to this guy, 60, 70, 80 versus 90. 
Uh, yeah, no, that's fine. I'm going to put three damage on everything. So we actually probably could have played one of those energy onto our Merigra Alakazam, but that's fine. Alright, so killed off his Phantom. Got ourselves a Float Stone, which is not going to matter. Are you playing double colors? I bet you're playing double colors. Let's see what they're playing. I can't kill you yet. Uh, 60, 90. Uh, but otherwise, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, cool. So, what I can do is I send up. Not anymore. <laughs> well, that changed quickly, didn't it? Uh, 3, 6, 9, 1, 20, 1, 30. Okay, so I need to hit you once more. So, if I can hit everyone once more for 30 damage, uh, 50, 60, 70, 80 won't kill your shaman, which is good. Gonna judge. Damn. Should have seen that coming. Um, if I can put another 30 damage on this guy here, um, find a psychic energy, then push up my Mega Alakazam, then I can win, or my opponent will just concede again. Ah, 